On today's episode, we're welcoming a new member of Tape Machine to the family, the Ewer Report Monitor 4000. Here we go. Let's talk about the Ewer machine. Is it Ewer? Is it Ewer? I've heard people pronounce it in all of these ways. Ewer. Ewer. I don't know what to say. If you're into old, weird analog tape, then you're no doubt familiar with the Ur Report Monitor 4000. Released in 1961 from Munchen, Germany, these machines were the, were the budget option for film and broadcast reporters for a very, very long time. Uh, the Nagra tape machines were king in that industry, but they were way more expensive, and they are still way more expensive to this day. The Ur machine was a workhorse, uh, especially the BBC reporters. Famously, there was a whole wall of uh, Ur machines. I'm going to p- keep pronouncing that word differently every time. I don't care. I've never had to say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> This particular machine right here is exciting to me. It's kind of like traveling back in time because it is new old stock. What does that mean? It means that this was never sold. It was it was came to me in its original box, uh, original contents. It even has the inspector's card, which is dated uh, sometime in 1996 in February it looks like so the the main it was it was inspected before it got to me and it was made sure it's a hundred percent operational and surprisingly this machine is about it didn't cost an arm and a leg it was about as expensive as some people are selling them on the used market this one even came with the uh, the microphone which has a din socket so I'll get a XLR converter soon but you can't have you can't have too many dynamic microphones around, and this thing's solid. This thing is built like a tank, and uh, probably will sound great. Again, can't have too many dynamic microphones. That's ridiculous. You could mic a whole you could mic the whole world with the dynamic microphones. By the way, how do you like this cranked uh, Shure SM58 right now? I heard about that company through a channel that many of you should be familiar with called Techmoan. If you're not, uh, please check him out. Uh, He's been on YouTube for a while, and uh, his channel is full of awesome, uh, in-depth reviews of old technology, uh, technology that was niche, came and went, um, or or like really obscure things. Uh, uh, There's... I've learned so much from him in that channel. In fact, I'm, I'm not even going to dive into the very specifics of this machine. I'll just link to his video because it's uh, he, did, he does a fantastic job if you just want to know exactly what arrived. I don't do the unboxing stuff. Like, I, know it's, I know it's a very popular genre uh, on YouTube, the unboxing of new things. I'm like, I, you don't care. <laughs> These Ewer machines uh, were uh, converted and used by Czechoslovakian spies. They would like stick a transmitter on it and record um, their voice at the lowest speed, and then like play it back at the highest speed, transmitting, and someone else would receive it and record it at the highest speed, and then they'd slow it down. Like they were like transmitting messages while driving around Prague or whatever. Uh, pretty fun little history there. These things are solid. They're built like it's built like a tank. It's so cool. One of the exciting things about this machine, as I just mentioned, tape speed with the Czechoslovakian spies. This thing has four speeds, which is very cool for a musician for a musical uh, application. Uh, as you remember from my other tape delay video, the TAC only has two speeds: uh, three. Point seven five inches per second and seven and a half inches per second, both very good. I mean, seven and a half is 
wonderful. I love it for vocal slapback in particular. It's exactly that John Lennon sound. If you're new to the channel and asking yourself, what is tape delay? That's great because I already made a video on it with this TIAC machine. Uh, check this out. So you've got three heads. You've got an erase head, you've got a record head, and a playback head. And as you can see, the, dif the distance between the record head and the playback head is some, some distance. That's literally what tape echo is. The tape delay principle is the same with this Ur machine. Uh, this little reel-to-reel, -reel, uh, smaller reels, five inches, it has seven and a half and 3.75, and then it has the cassette speed, one and seven eighths inches per second, and then an even slower five sixteenths of an inch per second. And the, the two slower speeds really, really degrade the, the frequency range. But today, for musically, it's, it offers a whole cool different tone. And I know this is all very uh, esoteric, but it's fun. I like fun. I've been doing a lot of work uh, lately uh, with my other project, Working Flakes, which is all recorded uh, through analog gear, but entirely mixed in the box. I'm a very 21st century do-it-in-the-box type of person. So these things are exciting uh, to just work with, because sometimes it's just good to get off of a computer. That's the whole point of this channel. One of the important things to note about receiving this machine, uh, or, or any European machine, is they, they have DIN, DIN connectors, so you have to figure out a way to interface that. And the way I did it is with this, showing some B-roll of the uh, DIN to RCA. And since it's a mono machine, uh, you only use the left, the white uh, 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 part of the RCA uh, output or input, depending on what you're going in. So, like the TIAC, all I'm doing right now is sending out the effects loop into the Ur machine uh, as line input, and then from the Ur back into the Tascam on a separate channel. So that's it. That's how. That's that's your simple tape delay. Uh, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the two slowest speeds. You can hear the hiss and you can hear that initial slap back. And as you remember from the last video, I really like to feed back the tape sound into itself. Let's hear the slower speed. First, let's see the slower speed regular. See how slow that is? That's fun. And you can see it's fun. You can crank the input and get a little distortion if you really are crazy. Obviously, getting a lot of hiss. So let's uh, let's do something with that. Let's hear some of that dubby dub 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 feedback.
Hey, well, you know, I said it was gonna be a quick one. It is a quick one. Uh, that's just a quick introduction to my fa the sounds of this uh, Ur as used as a tape delay. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot more uses for it in the future. Uh, thank you very much again, as always, for watching. And as always, peace and be good to each other. Tell me about the noise that you're experiencing. We're rolling down the river with a hot, hot mic.